We can probably identify regions on Mars that are most likely to mm. be habitable now. Um, so is there any evidence at the moment? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so is there anything that like kind of like piques our interest? Yeah, that there is actually something on Mars. There is there something going on, or is it, or is it all sort of a bit of a pipe dream? Yeah, is it just speculation? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, again, we've over the I think it was the first detection was made in like two thousand and three. Yep, ish something yep. like that. I think so. Um, yeah, sounds right. That some Earth based. We talked about this last week, actually, slightly. A little tiny bit. Anyway, uh, there was some Earth-based spectroscopy done on the surf- looking at the surface of Mars and found that what they thought was methane in the sur- in the atmosphere of Mars. And methane shouldn't be in the atmosphere of Mars because it's very unstable in that environment. Yeah. It breaks down very quickly and has a very short lifetime. Yeah. So for a significant amount of methane to be present, you would have to be actively producing that methane from yeah. somewhere on Mars. Now, methane's an interesting molecule, okay? because it could potentially be produced most of the methane on earth is produced by biology but some is produced um, abiotically through various volcanic processes Mm -hmm. Um, now when that methane detection was made people were quite sceptical because it was from an earth based telescope and this is the thing that led to some stupid headlines claiming there was life on Mars yes, and stuff you did. know very yeah. prematurely like one of the many things has led to that <laughs> yeah 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 they claimed it again um, and so it was it kind of fell by the wayside there were, I think there might have been one or two redetections of the methane but largely I think it wasn't it, there wasn't much done on it again in no. terms of we didn't find much evidence of methane for a, a long time after yeah that's right um, and then Curiosity landed with the capability to detect methane to a much that's the thing to, to a, a much, much lower sen- um, yeah. sensitivity sorry a, a much, much higher, higher sensitivity, sensitivity but a lower concentration lower concentration of methane yeah than was like these these earth based telescopes yeah. had detected yeah so they were, that was basically the, the they were going to just put it to bed it's like right yes. either there will be or there won't be and we can, we'll sort that right out uh huh um, and the fact that Curiosity had no results showing any me- there's not a single sniff of methane for, yeah. for quite a few years of it being on the surface yeah as far as we know we, at the time we didn't know um kind of made everyone think the whole methane thing was a dud well it, they actually announced it like they, they announced it like no evidence of methane this yeah. is it we've we've looked for a, i think it was a whole year yeah and there's nothing so that's it whatever your measurements were before they were probably some kind of error or some whatever yeah um so that's it that's like, all done done and dusted yeah and that See was what later. was thought in the community yeah and um, people i know people who are doing their phds on uh like methane on Mars we're kind of like I have to change this sort of focus a bit or try and get around this somehow or you know just, just think of some other way to apply it to some other planetary body or yeah, something yeah. Um, and we started hearing whispers yeah like little rumblings little rumblings of pr- before the actual official announcement yeah about three or maybe few months before four or five months yeah. six months even before yeah. um, that potentially actually that something had been discovered yeah um, by curiosity by curiosity and there was a I remember the press announcement uh, being announced that they were going to do a press announcement for the curiosity rover and saying it was going to be a big deal or something I yeah. can't remember exactly yeah. what they said and they'd said something about it being a big deal before so obviously we were all slightly sceptical mm. as to what they exactly do love it was doing that be. they like to blow it up and, and kind of obviously you know they've spent a lot of money yeah. Um, yeah sell it to everyone fair enough yeah fair enough um so we were what's this going to be what's this going to be and it started to become apparent as time went on from again more rumblings and things that actually that they might that might this might be this methane, methane detection yeah. and it turned out it was um, and I remember we watched it live yeah, and we yeah. Were like, oh my god <laughs> yeah. um, and it turns out yes they they get these very random periodic spikes of methane concentration seemingly localised to the region around the Curiosity rover, not, yeah. not specifically just here, but it seems to be coming in the direction of like various winds and there's yeah. no there's no correlation actually between the the weather data was there. That's the that's the weird no thing. There's no consistency between the weather data and the methane spikes. So it wasn't like it changed the the weather changed it was blowing to the south or something and suddenly they get methane spikes. It just seemed to randomly be bubbling up uh, yeah. and being detected in the yeah and and then disappearing again really really quickly as yes. well, which I think was part of the argument that it was close. Yes. was that you're not getting like a dissipated like yeah. large area of methane it's like a local source yeah. somewhere that's like you know bubbling away or whatever yeah um 
and yeah i mean it, it's a big deal because as sam said earlier like um as you said earlier that that, that it's there's like two ways to produce it like one that's geological and one that's biological and the biological um method of producing methane is just like one of the of the potential explanations for methane on mars it's not actually that nuts of a thing to to suggest yeah as a, as a potential like no, no no source of the methane no 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 uh, as i said it's most of it on earth is produced by biology yeah um so everyone was like oh crap what the hell is this is this a is is this evidence of 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 life on uh, life on mars maybe in the deep subsurface maybe there's these these for whatever the source is of methane they think it's probably being trapped in some kind of like uh, maybe like a permafrost system that then breaks open occasionally and somehow yeah. it gets released in in periodic bursts yeah which is which does happen on earth like sort of in that in that yeah. way yeah um but the source of the initial methane is still unknown uh we don't really know yeah we don't know the, the, the really cool thing though is, is that, that we the, will know is that we probably will know Yay. the curiosity rover and we don't even have to wait for another mission really because well for a start the curiosity rover itself has the capability uh-huh. of being able to try to be able to try and get at where this methane is coming from yeah and also we've just launched a mission last week or two weeks ago the trace gas orbiter with the trace gas orbiter which was like <laughs> this mission is part of actually part of exomars and this mission was specifically designed after this announcement of methane yes. in 2003 yes and then it was like oh shit like actually this is a waste of a waste of time and now it's suddenly become like super relevant again yeah so that's on its way that's going to be an orbiter and it's going to be looking at from from above and nice high resolution detailed analysis of where try and like pin down these like plumes or whatever they are like so the, the cool. sources of methane on mars yeah. you know you might find that they're coming from specific regions and yeah. you start looking more closely at these regions yeah. i mean it could lead some to some really yeah. cool places yeah the, so the cur- you mentioned the curiosity yeah. rover has a few different it has a method of detecting whether the methane could be biological or non-biological yeah and that's looking at the isotope ratios in yeah. that yeah, methane yeah. um it's like a is, fingerprint of biology sort of yeah of. biology likes to use a particular type of carbon basically yeah. um and to do that though it needs a very high spike of methane it needs to take a sample at the same time and and do this analysis at the same time it's getting a big spike but the only thing is there's a lag phase between when they get the results and then being able to run all this stuff so they need to basically they guess always need to guess when they're going to get one of these big spikes and then hopefully get a big enough one that they can then analyze for yeah. this type of thing and the problem is is that they're just ran- they seem to be random there doesn't yeah. seem to be any pattern to them no so it's just like they have to kind of wait until they happen yeah which is it, it makes it really difficult to get the to time the the, the readings yeah. at the right the right time yeah still i mean we're kind of waiting with bated the... breath in a way um for another curiosity announcement about this i mean yes. it might not happen it might not happen it, it, it is sort of down to luck mm. um because as we said like they they had already announced that it they hadn't detected anything and yeah. suddenly it was like hang on like whoa yeah out of nowhere there's just two spikes like yeah um so yeah i mean it could it could be really really exciting i mean even if even if it's so it's just it's imagine potentially... if they come up with an announcement that's about methane and it's really ex- i mean if if they come out with an isotope uh if like they, they get back with an isotope ratio that looks like it's biology i mean that's still not conclusive it's there's no, it's still not. some it's not potential yeah. but it really it really makes it like much more likely yeah i mean that that press conference i mean if they keep selling they sell press conferences uh, you know they have to sell the missions on, on <laughs> what they're going to say about on that. Things that are sometimes not as interesting as you might say. What the hell? Are they? Yeah, yeah. Like where do they? Be going they've back. already said that this is going to like change our like view of Mars, and you know they've, they've already sold it really yeah. high. They're going to have to like. It's a change our view of the universe. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Potentially could. Um. So. Yeah. I'm going to lose my shit if that happens. Yeah. 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 If. It, if they announce that, yeah, I, I will literally lose my shit. I'll break. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be full on. <laughs> It'll be well fun. Um, but the trace gas orbiters can also do isotopes as well. So we might even get like data from that. Yeah, that is gonna lead to a similar type conference, maybe in whenever twenty seventeen ish. Yeah, like possibly. That. I think the Terry's Capital arrives like in October or something, right? At Mars. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm I'm super excited for that mission now. Yes. Like, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be massive. Yeah. Because it can it can do the isotopes for methane, but it can also do um, looking at like other because it's super like scientific. It can look at lots of different other gases that might come with the methane. Uh-huh. So if there's like sulfur dioxide or 
um, things like ethane and propane, all these other yeah. various levels of those mean that it may be, be more likely biology or non biology. So there might be like multiple lines of evidence for it being one or the other. We'll get from the trace gas orbiter. But and ho- not- hopefully by having an orbiter as well, like we, is, we're not relying on like the really like local like point no, no, measurements yeah. of curiosity. You've just got wait. the whole globe to just like, wait. Just wait and just keep watching. Yeah. It's, a, uh, it's gonna be it's a really cool mission yeah it's a really cool mission it's just a really exciting time actually and it's lucky that I mean it's sort of lucky in the sense that they were dev- designing something on what was thought to be bad data yeah um, and turned out to be actually potentially I mean I don't know how good they think that data was but it was obviously picking up something that was related to yeah 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 um, methane yeah it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome it's yeah. gonna be really really cool yeah